The father of an Indian diplomat facing charges in New York is coming to his daughter's defense this morning. She is accused of lying on a visa application and paying her housekeeper and nanny much less than minimum wage. Her father says the maid was treated like family. The incident is leaving the United States and India in a diplomatic furor. Margaret Brennan is at the State Department. Margaret, good morning. Good morning to you, Charlie, and to Nora. Well, the housekeeper, who is the alleged victim at the heart of this case, remains in hiding here in the U.S. The state and Justice Departments have taken measures to shield her. They've even gone so far as to bring her family from India here to the U.S. in order to protect them from retaliation. Anti-American protests continued across India Thursday, and the government demanded a U.S. apology for the arrest of diplomat Devyani Kobrigade. Last week, she was charged with visa fraud and underpaying her Indian housekeeper. Kobrigade was then strip-searched by U.S. marshals and held in jail for four hours before being released on bond. The anger in India has swirled around the treatment of the diplomat, not the housekeeper. Foreign Ministry spokesman Syed Akbaruddin. There is only one victim in this case. That victim is Devyani Kobragade. The Indian government even issued a warrant for the housekeeper's arrest, accusing her of stealing from Kobragade. My client did not steal from the diplomat. She left with um, essentially the clothes on her back. Dana Sussman is the housekeeper's lawyer. My client is incredibly um, frustrated and disappointed with how this case has been portrayed in the media and how um, the Indian government has responded. This case is not about a strip search. This case is about someone who lied to the U.S. government in order to obtain an A3 visa for their personal domestic worker. While the U.S. attorney Preet Bharara has defended the prosecution and treatment of Cobra Gade, the State Department told the Indian government that it is reviewing those details, an attempt to smooth over this diplomatic rift. So far, even a statement of regret from Secretary of State John Kerry was deemed not good enough. The U.S. is concerned about retaliation now against American diplomats, and this isn't the first time that a diplomat has been accused of abusing the privilege of bringing household help here into the U.S., but usually these matters are handled discreetly, and that did not happen in this case. All right, Margaret, thank you.